Welcome back to Bella Society. If you're just joining us today, it's all about selfies. But a lot of the time, we spend so much time editing those pictures because of those tired lines or fi fine lines or we think our face is sagging. Well, today, we also have uh, something that's a treatment out there that can actually help you out with these fine lines. So what better alternative making us look younger in real life, in real person, not just editing it on the picture and people seeing you in real life go, oh, okay. So to tell us more about this awesome new therapy, it's Dr. Nimi Sutina Nordin, Medical Aesthetic Practitioner, yes. thank you so much for coming on to Bella. For Ever taken me. a selfie before? No, we're going to have one later. We're going right? to definitely have <laughs> one later. We try and get that perfect yes. selfie. Yes. Well, very interesting um, because, as you know, a lot of people edit their photos nowadays. But of course, when you see them in person, the truth. You can't yes. erase the truth. So, um, fine lines, sometimes even tired lines, wrinkles before your time because of the environment we're in. Tell me a bit about this therapy. What is it called? Now that you've mentioned about selfies and... <laughs> Lines. In fact, I've been seeing we we have well, I have seen a, a more pe people mm -hmm. coming into the clinic asking mm -hmm. for treatments for fine lines mm -hmm. and saggingness because mm -hmm. they've been taking their selfies. Yeah. So they begin to notice these things ah. a lot more than they, they, they did before. Yeah. The photos actually enhance these things it's a true. lot It's true. Sometimes yes. um, when you take a picture, you go, oh my goodness, those yes, fine lines. Yes. I mean, it's inevitable. Inevitable. We can't, we can't change yes, uh, the aging process, but we yes. can try to suppress it a little bit. What are some well, of the... Well, we can try and uh, turn to back... Delay. Delay it. Delay, yeah, yeah, delay is the yeah. word. Or uh, hide what it. would be the reasons for for wrinkles and is it sometimes genetics or is it just the age factor what are some of the reasons well, of course age plays a role mm -hmm. um, our genes definitely play a role 30% mm -hmm. of what is us mm -hmm. is determined by our genes and you can't change your genes mm -hmm. right but the rest of it is really environment mm -hmm. or your lifestyle choices True. so mm -hmm. you can control that 70% of causes of aging and this will then sort of determine whether your aging occurs earlier, mm -hmm. the effects of aging occurs earlier or later, mm -hmm. and it will, you know, so, um, help you delay or or make the appearance uh, more obvious. Yeah. So, um, depending on how you live your life, True. whether you get enough sleep, mm -hmm. you drink enough water, mm -hmm. you take enough fruits and vegetables, all, the, all those green, green That's stuff. Right. Yeah, we had some advice just now on our screen yes. splashes on some um, natural therapies on how to yes. keep ourselves yes, well. Yes. What you're saying is really true because sometimes yes. people who are depressed as well and yes. they don't even smile every day, they just yes. fly around, they're frowning all the time. That yes. causes wrinkles too, right? So you're actually aging before your time. Sometimes it's the wrinkles that make them look depressed. Ah. So this is the effect of aging, causing mm -hmm. them to look as if they're sad or depressed or angry, mm -hmm. and yet they're not. And then that makes them further depressed and angry and, yeah. and, and down. And that just adds on and adds and on, on. And they yes. look like it's true. There are some people who are um, so much more happier with their life. Uh, they smile and laugh every day. They just yes. look young. I guess if you have enough sleep, you get enough sleep and you drink good, very true you, as a well. lot of water, then you, mm -hmm. you tend to feel fresher and fresher. brighter. Exercising it? is important definitely, as well, right? Definitely. Don't you think? Yes. How about sagging skin? I mean, obviously, that's another factor with age. Not It's not just wrinkles. It could be around your chin area yes. or whichever area. W yes. What causes sagging okay sagging is actually a uh, part of aging mm -hmm. as well and it is predominantly or more obvious among Asians unfortunately Seriously, huh? yes Caucasians tend to age more with wrinkles and lines whereas the Asians if you oh. notice your mom your grandmother we don't wrinkle as much but we sag mm -hmm. and the ob mo most obvious part is usually the lower face because really the skin has got nowhere to Actually, anchor that's true. itself it's this part right yes, the middle and the, yes because oh. this is the part that juts out from the the center part of your mm -hmm. body and so gravity has an effect a lot more mm -hmm. onto it right and is that the same thing with eye bags is it more yes. asian thing as well um, as well? you say it's more wrinkles or it's not the same not really no i think eye bags uh, there are a few other factors that causes eye bags as mm -hmm. opposed to sagging of the skin mm -hmm. general sagging of the yeah. skin yeah and then uh, you asked me about what causes it basically as you age there are three things that happen one is your bone the facial our skull bone mm -hmm. actually shrinks as well the That's bone right. shrinks if you look at a 40-year-old skull and a 20-year-old skull, you can see that the bone the bone is, is thinner and right. smaller. So it depletes so, actually. Yeah, your so that's bone. your base. That's your mm. foundation. And then between the skin and the bone is the muscle and the fat mm -hmm. that keeps your skin nice and taut mm -hmm. over the bone. Yeah. But this also shrinks as you age, right? And then the skin also shrinks. And the skin mm -hmm. loses water, loses moisture, plus gravity doesn't help. And over nope. long nope. years <laughs> of gravity pulling it down, mm -hmm. then you get that the it just has less things to hold on to and it just starts to sag. So with all this happening, obviously, yep. even if we have good skin care and we take care of ourselves, how do we actually um, 
take care of these problems before it actually gets worse? Or is there a way to just stop it from, not say stop it, slow the process down? How do we slow the process well, down? No matter what we're going to age, all of us age, we can't change gravity. Which we should second. age gracefully, we yeah, should be exactly. happy. Yeah, and, but and you want to look nice and well-groomed as you age, yeah. right? Unless we all can walk upside down. Yeah, the right? other way. Maybe I should start laying the other <laughs> way around, you know, Maybe in the morning. Ten, what, five way. minutes a day? No, sleep like that. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, that's what you should. Um, um, there are things that you can do, of course. Like we earlier said, exercise, mm -hmm. enough sleep, enough water, don't drink too much, mm -hmm. not too much, don't smoke. And then the good next points, thing, all very good yes, points. Yes, and then, uh, of course, early skin. Care. Now, we used to think that skincare is not that important and you can only, you only start when you start work, when you're in your 20s. Mm -hmm. But in actual fact, you should start as early as, you know, four years old. And four especially years old? Especially for sunblock. The most important thing four. in your skincare is your sunblock. Okay, so mummies, daddies yes. out there. Take care of your yes. child's skin care. Yes, from because children are exposed to the sun all the time. They go swimming, they play outside. They're, so they're more exposed than adults, actually. Mm -hmm. And we don't protect their skin at all. So the basic for a kid of four, obviously, is the sunblock. Sunblock. Sun and First. also putting more the big lotion well, on yeah, their skin. Yeah, maybe after sun, sun exposure, their skin gets a bit dry. Mm -hmm. So you should you know, reduce ah. the inflammation with some pure aloe vera. Okay you know, some, some hydration, there. but otherwise it's fine. And then when they go into their teenage years, then there's some changes in the skin mm -hmm. because of the hormonal changes, as yeah. well as exposure to the environment mm -hmm. as well. So good uh, cleanser. Yeah, Very of course. Clean your skin properly. A lot of people still don't clean their skin I with know, a that's, proper that's, cleanser. That's so wrong, right? Because yes. at the end of the day, uh, we're, we're already in such an environment, we're already aging gra like gracefully, yes. but adding all this on makeup yes. and everything and we don't wash our skin, it's just it's just yes. hurting our skin. Definitely. So tell me a bit about this therapy. Okay. And I'm sure a lot of people are like, I want to know about this therapy. Yeah. How does it help okay. us? How does it help okay. us? Okay, our therapy basically is a, is a te new technology. There mm -hmm. are many new technologies available now mm -hmm. for, to, uh, for sagging skin as well as to overcome the effects of aging, mm -hmm. like... Uh, loss in collagen and, mm -hmm. and laxity of skin and uh, there's lasers there's radio frequency there's ultrasound so many so many treatments the, one there. of the latest one is actually focus ultrasound which is what our therapy is ah. all right what happens is the the machine um generates this ultrasound wave which is focused onto the deeper layers of mm -hmm. skin where exactly where the collagen is in mm -hmm. our dermal layer oh, it hits it right at and the it target. goes right up to almost near the bone mm -hmm. right and it tries to mimic what happens in mm -hmm. facial surgery yeah. in skin lift surgery mm -hmm. where we cut the skin to reattach it back yeah. onto the bone but in this case we don't no do any cutting invasion not invasive no, at all no it bypasses the surface of the skin it goes right into the smash layer mm -hmm. which is a layer that attaches skin to bone again Mm -hmm. and then it creates this thermal injury mm -hmm. which then creates um, new stimulation to the old collagen stimulation oh. to the collagen and the new collagen starts to form plus the injury then heals itself and forms this something like scar lines that hardens and so it retracts okay. and pulls the skin along with it perfect so non-invasive yes. and it actually heals you from within, within so yes. um, Dr. Sunita anything mm -hmm. else last uh, advice you can share when it comes to this or the, the, the effects or how long term well, our therapy is a wonderful treatment mm -hmm. now. Uh, it's it's available. It can be done for anybody at any age, mm -hmm. usually from the late 20s. It's uh, very, very attractive to men and women mm -hmm. uh, because there's no downtime whatsoever. Perfect. You come in, you have it done. You can go for go a to party work. tonight. You can go, go back to work. Nice. Nobody knows what's, what you've done and yet you look refreshed. Mm -hmm. You look fresher. And the best part of it is that the reparative process goes on for the next two to six months. Oh, wow. And so it lasts. It, you see it get better and better uh, and then up to six months it stays on up to a year to okay a year so we're half. healing from it in thank yes. you so much dr sunita for mm -hmm. uh, sorry that's right, right? So, <laughs> so tina for coming on and sharing that with us thank you so thank much you. um i'm definitely going to check this out obviously <laughs> pair of me, myself from the inside yes. well do catch us tomorrow for bella mars as we'll be talking <laughs>